Question number 17 from simple harmonic motion. It says two independent harmonic oscillators of equal mass. So M1 is equal to M2 are oscillating about origin with frequencies omega 1 and omega 2 and have total energies E1 and E2 respectively. A by B, A by R are given in terms of N and graph corresponding to momentum versus X is plotted. The first one has energy E1, the second one has energy E2 and basis this we got to choose correct expression. First let us see what is the relation between momentum and x. Velocity is omega root a square minus of x square. This implies mv is m omega a square minus x square implying momentum is square you may write m square omega square a square minus x square. So you get p square by m square omega square plus x square would be 1 even if I divide by a square. And right here there is no point of writing m1 m2 because they are same omega 1 a1 are their respective amplitude. So this is how we get the graph of P versus X as an ellipse and according to the first data you would see that A is A1, B for the momentum intercept M omega 1 A1 and in the second case it is a circle. We know circle is a special case of ellipse so this ellipse would be a circle if m omega would be 1 but in that case that would be omega 2. So you will be having m omega 2 is 1 and together a2 would be equals to r. You realize that is the modification you got to make for the second graph so that it would be a circle. This part would be 1 and a1 both the intercept would be same equals to r but in that case that would be a2. So we have written a2 equals to r. Together this relationship and this is also given and we also additionally know that energy is one half m omega square a square. So if it is 1 that would be omega 1 a1. So we have all these parameters and now it is a simple replacement of the value and out you will get option number b and option number d to be correct. So Question number 17 has option B and D as the correct answer. Now we will go to question number 18. Question number 18 is from rotational dynamics where a ring of mass m radius r is rotating with angular speed omega. And it is written in the question but let me reveal it right now. There are two massless rods in the form of cord and initially two point masses m by 8 are at O here. These masses can slide along two massless rods fixed as shown. At some instant the angular speed of system is 8 omega by 9 after some time when you observe the angular speed has changed. And one of the masses is at 3r by 5 from O. At this instant, the distance of other mass from O is. So that's a straight way conservation of angular momentum, where initial angular momentum is mr square into omega. Final for the ring would be mr square, and the next particle m by 8 and of course it is at a distance 3r by 5, 3r by 5 whole square and for the third m by 8 x square let us say x is the distance and omega at that instant is 8 omega by 9. So this is purely conservation of angular momentum i1 omega 1 equals to i2 omega 2 and that will give us option number d. So the correct value of x would be 4r by 5 which would be option number d for question number 18. 
and together with this now we finish section 2 now we'll move to section 3